Don't panic. Be calm. One day we'll call it home. Then we'll say there's no place like home. Come on. Let's go in. Come on. This is tasteful. Maybe when we put some furniture around and... We could get some flowers. No, it's the paint. If it's so ugly, it won't stick to the walls anymore. Oh, Mom. It'll be great. I love it. We're never going back, are we? No, we're never going back. Good. What if he comes after us? He figures we're going to come back on our knees. But we're going to do this. Of course we are, Mom. I know that. I love you, Mom. Me too, sweetie. Mom! The tree in the backyard is perfect for a tree house. Oh, and there's even room for us to have big wheel races. You tell me something, Sally. How are you going to have big wheel races unless you unload that big wheel first? Well, come on, let's go. Well, let's go. OK, this is light. Go put it in your bedroom, OK? OK. Hi. I live over there. Are you our new neighbors? <laughs> yes. Yes, we are. I'm Anna. Oh. Anna Morse. Hi. Hi. Donna. Donna James. Here, these are for you. Oh, thank you. They're beautiful. Oh, I like I like your music. Oh, yeah. Well, my husband is obsessed with the 50s. You know, the music, old cars. Garrett, this is Anna. Anna, this is my husband, Garrett. Hi. Hello, neighbor. That's a mighty handsome bunch of kids you got there. Oh, thanks. These are my girls. This is Laura, Sally, Billy. Laura, Sally, Billy. Meet our new neighbors, Garrett and Donna. Hi. 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 Is that your ice cream truck? Yeah, it sure is. Yeah, I tell you what, after we help move you guys in, why don't we all sit down and have a little ice cream? How would that be? Yeah. Oh, Great. you don't have to do that. Oh, no, no, it's my pleasure, Anna. Say, have any of you ever ridden in a chair plane before? No. Uh-uh. Have a seat there, Sally. <laughs> yeah, hey, Tyler, are we cleared for takeoff? <laughs> yeah, Roger, that uh, flight 17, you're cleared. <laughs> hey, wait for me. Come on. <laughs> Come in, I'll show you the house. Hey, we'll put these flowers in some water. You've got beautiful children. Oh, thanks. What about you and Garrett? Do you have any kids? No. No, we don't have any kids. Uh-oh. I said the wrong thing, didn't I? Oh, no, not at all. I mean, he wants them more than anything. We've been trying. Only I just don't seem to get pregnant as often. You know, maybe one day. Well, there's plenty of time. To take it from a teenage mom. And I love my kids, but sometimes I feel like I've missed out on some fun. You two should enjoy each other while you can. It'll happen. Garrett says there's nothing in life makes any sense except having kids and loving them. Well, you're lucky you have a man who feels that way. I know. He's the real thing. Anyway, if you need any free babysitting, I guess you've come to the right neighborhood. Well, you watch out. I'll take you up on that. <laughs> Look. <laughs> okay, I'm just like a kid. <laughs> Sleep tight. Did you see how empty and bare that place looked? I just moved in. Still. The way those kids are dressed, not too hard to see. She hasn't got a dime. There's three perfect, precious children. Okay, you should play nicely, okay? Honey! Hey. <laughs> Come here, you little beggars. Uh huh. Just about to go to work. Jim and Mama, for good this time. I'm renting a fixer over on the east side of town. Hey, Albert. Hey, how you doing? How you feeling, huh? Oh, I've been worse, but damned if I can remember when. So she left Jimmy. What you thinking of, Anna? You got some kind of trust fund you haven't told us about? Anna. 
Jimmy do that? I need to leave the kids here today. I have to go to a job interview. Is that okay with you, Mama? What kind of job interview? I got a friend who works over at the last call. Says I can start there next week. I just need to meet with the owner. A bar. My daughter working in a bar. Well, just come work for me. No, thanks, Mama. Look, I want to go to restaurant management school just like you did. And then maybe in a couple of years, I can... I can bring the kids up right. You yeah, haven't got two nickels in your pocket, honey. And don't come here to look for a handout, because we sure as heck haven't got any to spare. Speak of it. Thanks. I'm not asking for money. You know, I, I will get by all right. Anna, you live in a dream world. You always have. Now, look. I want you to pick up that phone. Call Jimmy and work this out. You think it's okay he does this to me? No, honey, I don't. Or that he cheats on me? Were you both drinking? It's over. I should have walked out a long time ago. I wish you never started it a long time ago, Miss Teenage Bride. Now he's your husband, he's the father of your girls. You owe it to them to patch this up. Huh? Oh, honey. Oh, be careful there. That's Mimi's new little figurine. Huh? You gotta be careful around the whatnots, Dan. I'm sorry. It's okay. Oh, it's always a little wild. Find me a man who isn't. Watch me, Mama. Maybe I will. Are you going to watch the kids or not? Ask Albert. I got to go to work. It's OK, Anna. I'm not going anywhere. Bye, Mom. Love you, kids. Hey, Anna, what time you get off? Way past your bedtime, Brady. Come on, some of us are gonna go out dancing. Why don't you come out and spin around with me, love? What do you say? Don't you know I got three kids waiting at home for me? You know, I remember the 10th grade when you didn't miss a dance all year. Not one time. Look, your little kitties are already asleep. Have a little fun. This is cool. We hardly ever get to eat ice cream. Why not? Mom says it's bad for our teeth. What? How could that be? Now, ice cream has got milk in it. And is milk bad for you? Or good for you. Good for you. Exactly. You know, Donna and I eat ice cream almost every night. Right, Donna? You bet. <laughs> when I was a kid, my mom and dad made their own ice cream. And sometimes we'd have it for breakfast. And look at how healthy and strong I turned out to be. How could your mom tell you such nonsense? OK, girls. What do you say we get ready for bed? Huh? No. It's probably a good idea. You don't want to be sleepy tomorrow. Tomorrow? It's really important. Why? The sun is going to come up all over again. And you got to be wide awake if you want to squeeze all the juice out of it. Tonight, you can go to bed with your ice cream if you like. Woo! That was great. So where you been hiding, Nana? Oh, behind aprons and diapers and no good man. So I guess you must dig being free to do what you want now. Oh, yeah. I'm free as bird. Free to do all the cooking, cleaning, money-making, shopping, you name it. I'm free to do it. How about kissing? I haven't kissed none man in nine years. So maybe you got some catching up to do. Maybe. Brady, it's been a lot of fun, but I gotta go. Really, I, I gotta go home now. Hey there. Hi, Anna. Come on in. Anna, are you all right? Oh, I hope I didn't wake you up. No, not at all, but the kids have been sleeping for a while. You may want to let them sleep through. Nah, no, I'll just take a minute to get them home. Come on, squirt. On a roll. Come on. Hey, heads. You guys are lifesavers. If I had to pay for a babysitter, I don't know how we'd eat. Well, we're happy to do it. You sure we can't make you some coffee? Oh, no, I've been in enough trouble. You all have a nice night now. All right. Thanks. You're welcome. 
they were our kids and she were our babysitter, I'd fire her. Probably not. Why, do you miss him? Not really, but sometimes you seem sad and I think maybe you miss him or you want to be by yourself. Well, I don't. Sometimes I get lonely for a grown-up friend, but it doesn't mean I ever stop loving you. You and Sally and Laura are the most precious things in the world to me, you understand? Yes. And I'm going to carry us out of the swamp if it's the last thing I do. I refuse to raise my family on bad tips. You hear me, girl? Mom. I think we're doing fine. Yeah. How high could it go, Mom? Well, not much further. We're almost out of string. Yeah, but what if we let go? Well, that's different. We're talking space, new frontiers. Let's do it. Sally will break it by tomorrow anyway. Let's see how high I'll go. OK. You go ahead. One, two, three. Three. Ah. Thank you, sir. I thought you had a credit card for everything you need. I want three birth certificates. I wrote down the names and the ages. Can you do it? Yeah, I know the guy I can. The price is steep, man. Let's take it out and trade. As many computers or TVs as you want. What are you doing? Pulling some kind of scam? No. I'm starting a family. Unfortunately, financial aid can only cover you so far. And with tuition at $11,000 a year, that leaves you with $3,200 to make up. $3,200? Well, it is payable in three installments over the year. I'm sorry, but that's the most they offer. Well, it would take me a lot longer than that. I mean, I have three kids to feed. Maybe this isn't the right time for you. Look, I'm trying to go forward, not, not just run in place for the rest of my life. And, and if now isn't the right time, then when is it? I'm terribly sorry. Yeah. Me too. Honey, isn't it dangerous to have all this peeling paint with kids in the house? Albert, you think it's got uh, lead in it? I'm gonna paint it, Mama. Besides, they're not babies anymore. It's not like they're licking the walls. Here they come. Oh! Little Huckleberry. Hi, Grandpa. Hi, Mommy. Hi, Grandpa. Mom, Donna, look what I got. Where did all those goodies come from? Garrett gave them to us. Garrett, not again. Well, you got nothing to worry about, Anna. They earned it this time. They helped me sell the ice cream. Come here. I'm Anna's mother. Oh, hi. Husband out. Mama, would you please pour the kids some milk? Sure, honey. My wife, Donna. Well, kids, let's come on over here and sit down. Show Grandpa the toys. you want to see my Milk's all gone, honey. Looks like just there's just about everything else. Just pour them some soda. No, it'll rot their teeth. I'm not going to... Never mind. I'll do it myself. Oh, Anna. Oh, Anna. Oh. Don't 
Don't you know that you just can't raise children on, on, on soda and hot dogs every day? You know what? I'm sick and tired of you criticizing everything in my life. I don't do that. Oh, really? No. You don't like where I work, where I live, how I clothe or feed my children. Nothing's ever good enough. Well, maybe that's right. All right, Anna. But you know what? It seems like your neighbors pay more attention to your children than you do. I'll tell you what. Why don't you just go to hell? Anna. Anna, where are you going? Hell. Anna. Mama, wait! Don't go! Garrett. Guess you bailed me out again. No, that's okay. Listen, maybe we should just let them sleep. They've probably been asleep for a couple of hours. Well, I'd like to apologize to them. I don't want them to think I'd stay away that long. You know, it's just that Donna hasn't been feeling too well, and I'd hate for you to wake her up. Tell you what, why don't you just come over at breakfast time? That way, everybody gets a good night's sleep, okay? All right. That's what you want. Night. Night. Where's Anna? She decided to go home and get a good night's sleep before she picked up her kids. Can you believe her? You know, some people just don't deserve a family. I know that I shouldn't let this get to me, but damn it, Donna. I'm a family man. Yesterday. Hey kids, how about I walk you to the bus stop, huh? What do you say, Peanut? Billy, I'm sorry I scared you. I'll be right back. After you pick up the glass, punch out, and go home, your last paycheck's gonna be a little short. Look, I'm sorry, but he leaned into me. Well, I'll pay for it, okay? Uh, listen, Anna, it's not personal. You're just not cut out for this business. You ever heard of firing somebody over spilling a drink? I just don't know what I'm gonna do. Mama, can we have dessert now? No, Billy, you can't. People who won't clean up after themselves don't watch TV and eat ice cream. Now go on, brush your teeth and get on to bed. It's a school night and say goodnight to the Jameses. Oh, Mama. Goodnight, Garrett. Goodnight, Donna. Goodnight, sweetheart. Oh, I can't get them to mommy anymore. Yesterday I walk into Laura's room and she is drawing on the walls with crayons. Oh, Anna, they're just kids. They'll shape up. Anna, you know what? Donna and I have been doing a lot of thinking about the trouble you've been having with the divorce and work and raising the kids by yourself, and we got an idea. What idea? Why don't you just take a couple of weeks off, leave the kids with us, take a vacation. Garrett, I couldn't put myself up in a truck stop. The well is dry. <laughs> no, that's not what I mean. You're not going to believe this, but we actually won one of those giveaway vacations to Mexico for two weeks. <laughs> We can't go because of work, so we want you to have it. I couldn't do that. 
We want you to take it. Just enjoy yourself and we'll, you know, play house with your kids. <laughs> Come on, guys. And this is very generous of you. But nothing kills a friendship faster than charity. Anna, you work so hard. You deserve a break. And we love being with the kids. We'll have a blast together and you'll get some downtime. Why are you so anxious to have my kids? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not it. Don't get mad. It's just that we can see how unhappy you are. And we know there's so much that the kids need right now. We love them as much as anybody ever could. I hope you know that by now. Look, what you're offering is real generous. But they're my children and it's my problem, not yours. But look at how you treat them. And you're hardly ever home. The only thing in your kitchen is peanut butter and a bottle of wine. They don't even have decent winter coats. Donna. I do what I can. I do my best. But it's never enough. I mean, maybe if you went away for a couple of weeks and cleared your head, you'd figure out you really don't want to be a mother. Let us take care of them. Love them. We won't disappoint you. I don't want to be their mother. Not Who the hell do you think you are? Get out of here. Animals. Just get out of my house. Just get out. Animals. Get out of my house. Animals. Get out. Go. Please, would you get out? Anna. Donna. 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 Did you really think that you were going to win her over by telling her what a lousy mother she is? I'm sorry, Garrett, but nothing else was working. You ruined it! It could have worked, and you ruined it! Nothing was gonna change her mind. You saw her. I saw her. She's never gonna give us the kids now. I don't even know why I got these papers. Maybe we should just back out of it. Maybe it isn't the right time. This is what we prayed for! What's the matter with you? What are you afraid of? I think about what happened to me. I was an accident! That was a freak accident! I just don't want anything to go wrong. All right, I'll do whatever you want. I'll do it. Here's the pink slip. This is the smog check. And here are the keys. Thanks. Talk to you for a minute. And I'm really sorry. We had no right saying those things. That's right, you didn't. It's, it's all my fault. I've just been so upset that I couldn't give him a child that I... I didn't mean to hurt you. I might not give him any extras, but they're my kids and I love them. So don't tell me I'm not their mother. I know. I don't know. Sometimes I just get so desperate. You don't know what it's like to love someone and not be able to give them the one thing they want most. It makes me feel so worthless. Hey. Garrett loves you, honey. Don't you know that? Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> We've missed you guys so much. I don't suppose we could come by and see the kids sometime. Well, I was going to take them to the park tomorrow, have a little picnic. Why don't you two meet us there around noon? <laughs> I'll bring dessert, OK? OK. Thank you, Anna. <laughs> Garrett will be so happy. <laughs> Thank you so much. OK. Mama, 
Here's Garrett and Donna. Oh, yeah. Hi, Garrett. Hi, Donna. Hey, Scout. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey. hey. Where is everybody? Oh, oh they're around. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Donna. Donna! Where are you? I'm going to get you. <laughs> Come on, Garrett. You want to play? Yeah, just a second. Anna, thanks for inviting us. I know that I was way out of line the other night. Well, it's ancient history. I'm not too proud about the way I acted either. Hey, is that a train ride? <laughs> you mind if we treat the kids? Oh, no, Garrett, don't start that again. Please, Mama, please say yes. Come on, Garrett, let's play. Yeah. Take this, go on over there, buy some tickets. You know, it, it just seems like you're always buying us things, and, and it just doesn't feel right. Please. Anna, yeah, it's just a little train ride. Come on, Mama. Don't worry. Today's a happy day, and we're all together. OK, Peanut. <laughs> all right, mine, Garrett, and Don. I'll be right back. OK. Hey, guys. Hey, Laura, we didn't even get a chance to say hi. Hello. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What's the matter? <laughs> we forgot the dessert. We made this big chocolate cake, and we left it on the table back at the house. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's just take a ride over there. We'll go get it. What about Mom? Oh. Well, let's leave her a note. Besides, we got a new car. Want to take a ride in it? Come on! <laughs> Come on, everybody. We're going to go to our house for just a few minutes. I want to play here. Let's go, Laura. Garrett and Donna left a cake at home. And we're going to take a ride in their new car. Where's Mom? She went to get tickets for the train ride, sweetie. Come on, it'll only take a minute. I don't want to go without Mom. We'll be back in five minutes, Laura. And besides, Mom said to mind Garrett, I'm staying here. Come on, sweetheart, it'll only take a minute. I don't want to go. OK. I'll tell you what, kiddo. You stay here, wait for your mom, tell her we'll be back in a couple of minutes. We went to get the dessert and to give Billy and Sally a ride in the new car. You can do that, can't you? OK. Good. Here we go. <laughs> you stay here. You hear me, Laura? You wait for Anna, OK? Operator, there must be a mistake. I know the number. Just try it for me one more time. Five 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 zero one four seven. I keep getting the recording. But that can't be. I know these people. They live next door to me. Look, we were just having a picnic. They just left. Sir. 
you move, you hear me? I'm gonna be watching you through the window. Ma'am, Lieutenant Driscoll will see you now. Right over there. There's more, I'm Lieutenant Driscoll. This is Sergeant Mackey. Why isn't anyone doing anything to find my girls? We are doing things, ma'am. Well, all I've been getting is the third degree. I mean, what do you think, that I kidnapped my own kids? We don't know what to think yet. I told you what happened. Now, why isn't someone out there looking for them? They're getting away. Instead of telling us how to do our jobs, how about I ask you a few questions? Now, how would that be? Well, if you were doing your job, I wouldn't have to. Why would these people want to steal your children? I told you. They couldn't have kids of their own, so they kidnapped mine. Maybe. Lots of folks can't have kids, Miss Morris. Are you a rich woman? No. Do the Jameses have some sort of a grudge against you? No. Were you abusing your children? No. How do you feel about taking a lie detector test for us? I'm not listening to any more of this crap. Come on, Laura. I'm going home. Mama. Where are they? What's happened to They're the children? Donna kidnapped the kids. They stole my baby. Those two nice people I met. No. You're lying. Now tell me the truth. Now tell me. I told you. Tell me. Mama, don't. Did you let them take your babies? No. You did, did you? What are you talking about, Mama? About that offer you told me about, huh? Think I forget about that? You decided to take them up on it, didn't you? What'd you get, Anna? A trip to Acapulco? What are you saying? I'm going in there and I'm telling them what I know. If you did this, I hope they lock you up for the rest of your life. <gasps> Well, Donna and I have got this great cabin on the lake up north, and your mom and Laura are going to come up and join us there. But she'll be worried about us. No, sweetheart. I, I called her from the last gas station. You wouldn't believe how excited she was. Don't you worry, kiddo. We are going to have so much fun together. It's going to be like pioneers in the woods. Wait and see. I miss her as all. I never got to say goodbye. Try and get some sleep, Billy. The sooner you go to sleep, the sooner you get a chance to see your mom. I promise. We got a hit on that print we lifted off the ice cream truck. Good. And this guy's popping up all over the West. Seven different aliases, credit card scams, insurance games, the works. Well, this guy didn't like to stay any place too long, does he? Says sometimes he uses his wife and his kid in the con. What kid? find my girls? Not yet. Your mother said you gave them away. Said you traded them for a vacation. You see me packing for Paris? I don't know what it looks like. Won't you tell me, Anna? A while back, they said they want a vacation. They said I should take it while they kept the kids. I said no. So they kidnapped my kids because they couldn't have any of their own. Hey, you see how this might look bad for you, can't you? I mean... Your mom said you lost your job at the bar. You had to sell your car a while back. That's right. I should tell you I feed the kids hot dogs and soda, too. She also said you turned into a drunk. From what I can see, lady, you look like you've been rode hard and put up wet. <laughs> Say, that charm school they send you cops to really works wonders. You said that James couldn't have any children, but they had a daughter named Megan. She was nine years old. Did you ever hear anything about her? Never. Are you sure? Yeah, she shows up in an arrest report two years ago in Casper, Wyoming. She was with them when they were arrested for uh, credit card fraud. Credit card fraud? And what happened to her? I don't know. You have to help me find my kids, Lieutenant. It's a big country, ma'am. 
I need a direction. I was hoping you were it. Guess you want to arrest me. Is that it? No. No, there's a lot of people downtown that do, though. You see, I don't think you did it. Why not? I don't know. Maybe it's the way you came storming into my office like a bat out of hell, or maybe it was the way you held on to your little girl out there in the hall. Would it help my girls if I took that lie detector? Yes, ma'am, it would. She's telling the truth, Christine. Those son of a bitches kidnapped her kids. No sign of them yet? My guess is they crossed the state line. I think it's time we get some FBI in on this. Look, this woman was living on the edge. For all we know, the ex-husband could have grabbed him. I can't involve the FBI in some little domestic dispute until... Until what? Until after they're dead? And what about this... Other girl appears to be their daughter in Wyoming, disappeared without a trace. Were any charges filed? I don't think so. Then it doesn't help us. Look at them back there. Two little angels. I can't believe we finally have them. Nobody will ever love them as much as we do, right, Garrett? That's right, baby. It's what Megan would have wanted. I think Laura should come stay with me. And take better care of her. She's my child, not yours. I'm not giving her up to you. This is just for temporary, Anna. What do you think the law would do if they came here? Huh? I hate to think about it. They'd probably put Laura in a, a foster home and they'd throw you in jail for neglect. I mean, don't you see? I'm trying to help you, girl. Help me, Mama? You call this helping me? Look at you. I mean, look how you live. And you you don't deserve to have children, Anna. You're not much more than a child yourself. I don't know why you're doing this to me. Listen to me, Anna, and listen good. Now, if you don't pick yourself up, you're going to lose everything. You need to have a one-track mind about finding those girls. I mean, how are you going to do that if you go on like this? Maybe you're right. Maybe I don't deserve to be their mother. Laura, come here a minute, honey. Put this down. Lal, how'd you like to come stay with Mimi for a little while? Are you going to? No, not right now. I gotta find your sisters and I gotta get us all back together. You said we were going to build a tree house together, and we never did. You promised. But I need you to be a good girl for me, okay? I'm going to come visit you in a couple of days. Are Billy and Sally ever going to come home? Sure they are, honey. Well, if you find them, tell them to hurry up and come home, okay? Okay. I love you. Come on. Scout, can you go for a walk with me? I don't want to. Oh, sure you do. I got something I want to tell you about your mom. Now, come on. Remember when I said that your mom and Laura were going to come up here and join us? Yeah. Well, they're not going to be coming. Why not? 
You're gonna have to find out the truth sooner or later, Scout. I think Sally's too young to know, but you're old enough to know what's what. What do you mean, Garrett? When your mom didn't show up, I called your grandmother, and something really awful happened. You remember how mad your mom could get at Laura when she would draw on crayon on the wall in the bedroom? Yeah. Well, she caught her doing it, and she hit her really hard, and she knocked her down a flight of stairs, and Laura broke her neck. Will Laura be all right? No. Laura died, honey. And they put your mama in jail. But she couldn't be. Mama never hit us. Laura can't be dead. I know. It's hard to believe. But I think your mom had been drinking. You remember how mad she would get when she was drinking? I want to see her. I want to see my mama. If I take you to them now, you know what's going to happen? They'll put you and your sister up for adoption. Is that what you want? I promise that if you stay with us, Donna and I will do everything that we can to make you and Sally happy with us. It's OK. Go ahead, let it all out. I know. Garrett's here. Garrett's here. You get one uniform. It's up to you to keep it clean. Nobody handles the register except Thomas and me. If you or any of the girls go into the register, you don't get fired, you get arrested. You hear me? I hear you, Mama. You call me Mrs. Morris or ma'am, not Mama. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Okay, good luck. Billy! Yoo -hoo. Come on, lazy head, get up. Okay. Come on, Scout. It's your birthday. Take a look. Wow. Thanks, Garrett. It's from Donna, too. Thanks, Donna. Had a girl. Happy birthday, honey. Now. What do you say we take her out on the high seas? Hey, what are you doing? Doing just exactly what I said I'd do. You're two months late and I'm throwing you out of here. Take your damage deposit, too. But you can't do that. Watch me. I'm doing it. But I need that deposit if I'm going to rent another place. Look, I don't have any money. Where am I supposed to live? You should have thought about that before you shorted me. Look, I didn't short you. I'm only late. But I'm working now. Just, just give me a little more time, please. I'll tell you what. You go get your fancy lawyer to fight it out with my fancy lawyer. The best lawyer will take all the money. Either way, you lose. I think Billy likes our new car. Hey, Dad. When we get to Tennessee, will you teach me how to drive? Well, yeah, but I think we may start you out on a bike first. At least until you get your head above the steering wheel, right? Anyway. Can I get a bike too, Dad? Can I? Of course you can, honey. I got everything, honey. All right. I'm going to miss our cabin in the lake in the woods. We all will. It's time to get moving on. Besides, you guys got a lot of school to catch up on. Do you think we'll be as happy in Tennessee as we are here? You know what? As long as we're all together, we're always going to be happy, no matter where we are. I love you. I love you who? I love you, Mom. I love you too, Peanut. I love you too. Uniform is looking mighty dirty, Miss uh, Morse. Sorry, ma'am. 
I'll be sure to give it a good washing. Come on, Roz. Come go dancing with us tonight. You know I don't dance. Oh, you don't have to dance, honey. You just have to drink and watch. No, thanks. I'm not much for drinking either. Oh, come on now. I thought all you Irish girls knew how to party. How about men, Roz? Do you like men? I mean, you do know what men are, right? Those tall critters wear pants, have deep voices. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Tell me, Roz, have you ever stayed up past 10 o'clock at night? Oh, of course she has. Every time they play Mary Poppins on the Lake Show. <laughs> Why don't you two put a lid on it? Or maybe I should get you girls some catch out and a sauce from milk. We're just trying to have some fun, Anna. Oh, and you're real good at that, aren't you, Arlene? You think there's something wrong with a woman trying to do something with her life? Besides partying and drinking. Hey, I don't care if she wants to grow up to be an old man. <laughs> well, I can't wait to see your photo album when you're old and gray. Should be the finest collection of bars and bastards in the whole state of New Mexico. All right, everyone, now settle down. I have an announcement to make. It's always nice to introduce a new member of our class. So I'd like you all to welcome Rachel Thomas. She's just moved here from Michigan with her family. Now, Rachel, have you ever been to Tennessee before? No, ma'am. Would you have any brothers or sisters? I have two. I have a little sister, but she doesn't go to school yet. And what's her name? Diane. And what can you tell me about the state of Tennessee, Rachel Thomas? The state flower is the iris, the state bird is the mockingbird, and the state song is the Tennessee waltz. Excellent! Now, what's your name, little girl? Diane Thomas. And where did you grow up? In Michigan. Kalamazoo, Michigan. And where did you go to school there? I don't remember. You can't remember where you went to school. Sounds like we need a little more discipline around here. Rachel. Yes, Daddy? You think you can help your little absent-minded sister understand that if she doesn't remember where she went to school, she's going to end up in an orphanage or jail? You can do that, can't you? Yes, sir. Wait a minute, girls. Don't forget to kiss your father goodnight. Go and bye. Say goodnight to Daddy. Oh, what's the matter? Don't we have any happy campers tonight? Cheer up, Scout. Sun's gonna come up all over again tomorrow, and I know it's gonna shine on you. Okay. I just came to say a quick hello. I gotta go back to work. I just missed you, Zol. Hey, Anna. Hey, Albert. I better get going. Give me your strongest squeeze, Peanut. Anna, I know you can do it. She doesn't, but I do. Do what? Whatever it takes, honey. Whatever it takes. You get going. I love you. Thanks for letting me tag along. It probably won't help, but I figured it was worth a look. We traced them. They lived here two years ago. They lived here for about 10 months. He drove a milk truck and she worked at one of those discount stores, I think. What kind of neighbors were they? Seemed nice enough. They were a handsome couple. She was sweet and he smiled a lot. Smiled a lot, but never really happy. We used to hear them arguing. Well, we used to hear him yelling at the little one, mostly. Megan. Sweet little thing. But that guy would yell about anything. A toy left in the yard or bad handwriting on her homework. A spill glass of juice. Wrapped tight, that guy. 
We used to hear him. He did more than that, didn't he, Mr. Shannon? I think he hit her. I, I can't be positive, but sometimes she'd yell out, and once I thought I saw some bruises. Then one morning, just gone. Now, all this time, the one thing that I've held on to is that Donna and Garrett were taking care of them. They were protecting them. I mean, why does he do this if he doesn't love them? I don't know. This guy shapes up to be a, a hustler and a control freak, but uh, maybe he doesn't see himself that way. Maybe he thinks he's Ozzie Nelson or Mr. Brady or something. But what about Megan? Why isn't she with them? Well, they left here a year ago. They arrived in Albuquerque six months ago, and that's when we lose Megan. Maybe she's with a relative. You don't know that. No, I know Donna. If she had a daughter, she'd be with her. Something happened. I'll get out here. Thanks. Just want to walk for a while before I go home. I really shouldn't have taken you there. Hey, I don't need to be protected from anything. Whatever you find out, you tell me. Promise? Yeah, I promise. But come on, let me drive you home. It's dark. No, no, I just want to walk for a while. Thanks, Lieutenant. Here. I was jogging. You okay, Anna? Yeah. Yeah, I just like taking walks at dawn, that's all. It's real quiet here. You sleep here, don't you? <laughs> just for a while, until I get some money saved. It's not that bad, really. Come on, let's go. Where? My place. You're staying with me. Come on. Oh, here, here, here. Talk about this, Rachel? But I turned it way down, Dad, really. No, I turned it way down. Great. Meanwhile, you played Chuck Berry at 50 decibels. You still sound like her sometimes, you know? Smart mouth. Let me just show you what the cost of nothing is these days, young lady. Pick them up, put them back, alphabetized. But that's not fair. I didn't do anything. What's fair? You think it's fair that I have to take care of you? No, it's not fair, but I do it out of love. And in return, I expect obedience. Everybody in this family has got to line up. And you know what your problem is? You never line up. And you know what happens to people who don't line up? They fall off and get left behind. Sorry. Good. That's all I want to hear. Uh, that comes to 10.53. You're a thief. I supplement our income so that I can raise you with some decency, little girl. I know what you do. You're bad and I hate you. And I'm not moving again. I'll call the police if I have to and they'll lock you up. I'm not going! Get in your room. Megan, Garrett, she didn't mean it. She means it. She's just gonna have to learn not to. Thank you. Have a nice day. So tell me how an Irish girl ends up in New Mexico. 
Well, in 72, my dad took us on this cross-country vacation. And a week after we left New York, we broke down in Albuquerque. Well, they didn't have enough to pay for the repair, so dad got a job on the ranch, and he fell in love with the land. We never left. And what about your mother? Did she love it, too? Not really. She never got to liking it. She was shy, kind of like me, but at least she had a husband and children to show for her life. Let me tell you something. Husband doesn't count if he hits you. Children don't count if you're so messed up you can't hold on to them. You're not messed up. You're just having a hard time. I've never met anyone like you before, Anna. You're strong. I'll tell you what. I'll help you with the shy business if you keep me on the straight and narrow. What do you say? Deal. Deal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on. Okay. I'm racing to the top. Yeah. <laughs> And Evelyn, you've been in business now for just over 10 years. Yes. Right? Seems like 20 years. <laughs> Then it hit me what a total rock and roll oldies freak Garrett was. I mean, he drove an old Chevy and he'd go to those 50s diners and those clubs. You know, you know the ones I mean? Yeah, where they have those 50s revivals. Right, and Donna told me they'd drive all over the Southwest to find them. You could be onto something here. Oh, I hope so. But I'm sorry that I, that I called you so early at home. I just got excited, I guess. I mean, it just felt so good to be doing something, to think of something. You seem so different today. <sighs> Maybe it's because I chopped all my hair off. No, that's not it. But it's something, though. Well, it's probably because, for once, I'm not yelling at you. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> that's probably it. Directions back to the interstate. I'm totally lost. Sure. <laughs> okay. I, I don't even know where I am. Oh, okay. Well, you're here. Uh huh. And what you want to do is take this street here. Yeah. And when you get to the first light, you'll turn the. Oh. And that should get you back to the freeway. Great. Okay. Great. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. Bye. Bye bye. What are you looking at? Nothing. Matt, are you lost? No, I... You know, if you ever want to run away or talk to a policeman, you can. But let me ask you something first. Why do you think Sally doesn't go to school? Because you're afraid she might make a mistake? <laughs> no, because I'm afraid you might make a mistake. And that's why Sally 
is always with me. In case something happens to me, well, she'll just disappear. It'll be that simple. You understand now? Anything like that, well, it would split us all up. Forever. I understand. It's nice to have these little heart-to-hearts, isn't it? Come on, let's go have some fun. myself and I used your favorite colors do you like it wow thanks mom oh. mm. can I try it on try it on you can wear it come here here let's get your hair out of there okay there cover her neck huh it's fine mama well no but there's no point wearing a scarf if you don't cover her neck let me just show you okay let's see here okay there and then Round and that is the way you wear a scarf. Hey, gorgeous. Merry Christmas. I haven't seen you in a while. What'll it be? It's on Santa. Um... I don't know. Give me a minute, okay? Sure. Come on, darling. Don't be blue. It's Christmas. Time to get happy. Come on, Mama. Don't worry. Today's a happy day and we're all together. You still here, baby? Vodka straight up. One vodka straight up for the sad faced lady. so long I forgot what I had. Anna, what do you want me to do with all the girls' clothes and things? Um, upstairs. I want everything in that room so it's all here, ready and waiting for them. Good idea. Hey, I almost forgot. Figured it was an occasion to celebrate. Roz, you know I Keep can't... your shorts on. This here comes from one of the best orchards in Texas. little vintage, assertive, unpretentious, alcohol deprived, but boasting a delicate bouquet reminiscent of applesauce. Don't you think? <laughs> you are a nut. <laughs> to my best friend and Billy and Laura and Sally. May they come home soon and fill these rooms with laughter. Thanks. 
Okay. Thank you very much. Now, Anna, are you sure you want to keep doing this? It's almost always a dead end. Oh, it feels better to be doing something. Hey, Jack, that perp's lawyer's out front. Yeah, thanks, Tracy. I'll be back. Do you have any idea how many missing kid cases go unsolved? No. I think it'd be a good idea for you to face some facts, Mrs. Morse. What facts? If we were going to get your kids back, it would have happened by now. Look, I don't like to be the one to say this, but Jack will never do it. Somebody's got to. Even if those girls are still alive, it's been a year. We're not going to find them. Still alive? This guy, James, he's been in the system. He's got a criminal record. What he's thinking is, he'll fry. Same as he would for murder. Without those girls, he stands a lot better chance of not getting caught. thousand times how I wanted her to unpack the box Donna and she ignored me deliberately she gets some kind of pleasure out of this disobedience and it's it's evil and hateful I'm not gonna stand for it not from her Sally or you ever out of my house at the pictures. He was mad because I asked about the little girl in the picture. The one by the river with you and Garrett. He said she was a bad girl who ran away. Who got lost in the woods. And she looks like the picture you saw. Does she have a younger sister? She does. That's Pueblo, Colorado. I'm, I'm going to take the day off work and I'm going to be there tomorrow. OK, thank you. That was the principal of the school. I think we found him. Hey, Scout. How's school today? It was okay. It was uh, the strangest sensation. I was just unloading some groceries one day, and there she was, staring right at me. I knew it was her. Her hair color is different. But she's out here somewhere. Really? Billy! I'm so sorry, honey. I thought you were someone else. Go find Rachel Thomas and bring her to me. I'm sorry, Mrs. Carson. Rachel didn't come to school today. I tried calling her home this morning, but there was no answer. 
She wasn't sick yesterday. I thought you said those credit cards would pay our way for six months. Yeah, well, the numbers are all wrong. The guy ripped me off. You think Denver is going to be far enough? It better be, because I don't think this thing's going much farther. Garrett, I'm not going to prison. I mean, they get us for credit cards. That's one thing. Kidnapping is something else. Donna, I told you. It's never going to happen. You told me a lot of things. Doesn't mean I believe them. Hey, hey, hey. We're going to be back on top. It's been a... Garrett, I've given this a lot of thought. And... Keeping the girls is dangerous. I think we should send them back to Anna's. I mean it, honey. They drag us down. And look at us, we've been living hand to mouth. And that's a good way to get caught. I say we send them back to Anna's. Please, I'm right about this. Donna, if you dare try to split this family up, I'm gonna be sending you home inside of a box before I'd let you take my girls away from me. You hear me? You hear me? Hey, kid. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing it. You sure got the place looking great. Thanks. Been on the phone all day talking to cops in Colorado. They're going to send out our flyers to all those rock and roll clubs that play that 50s music. Oh, good. That's great. Hey, you want some lemonade? Oh, no, thanks. I just had lunch. What's that? Oh, it's just a tree house I'm finishing up for Laura. You're doing a good job. Thanks. You know, uh, building that's half the fun. Yeah? You ought to get Laura to help you. My mother won't let her go. Says she'd do anything she can to keep her from me. She's just spitting words. You know that, don't you, Anna? What do you mean? I mean, you can have Laura anytime you want her. I personally guarantee that. Laura, I'm taking her home. What are you talking about, Anna? You know I've got her for now. You got nothing, Mom, and nothing no, at she all. She stays here. You try and stop me. You can't take her, Anna. I won't. Go ahead and call your lawyer. Call the law. I well, don't care. Anna! Laura, you want to come home and live with me? You mean it, Mama? For real? You bet I mean it. Hey, where's your suitcase? It's over there. Come on. Let's get some stuff in this and we'll pick up the rest later. Take that. I don't care if you break it. Thanks, Albert. Ooh. You got yourself a place to live in another old car. It doesn't make you a fit parent. Oh, I'm sorry you feel that way, Mama. I know you think you were doing the right thing, and that's what's important. But I am her mother. Me. Anna. And I need my little girl, and she needs me. I hope you can understand that. But guess what? I don't give a damn if you do or you don't. Come on. Just me alone, and if she saw someone, she'd never call again. You're lucky I didn't told you. The only reason you called me is because you know your darn car won't make it to Denver. What we need is the FBI in on this. I'm not going to tell you where I'm meeting her if you call them. Look, she's giving them back to me against Garrett. You can get him after once I get my girls back safe and sound. Okay, but you better not wreck this thing. This does not belong to the city. Get in, you can drop me off on the way to your mama's. Go on, in you get. Thanks, Jack. 
please, can I go too, Mommy, please? Listen, I promise you, I will be back as soon as I can, okay? Don't you worry. All right, I love you. What is it? Hey, go on, get inside. What, what's good? What, what is it? I need you to watch your mama. Now, don't say anything stupid to me either. I don't want to hear it. I'll be I'm back not saying soon. anything. Just, what happened? Anna? Uh, Donna called. Billy and Sally are in Denver. I'm getting my girls back. Oh, Anna. <laughs> no, mama. No. Bring those babies home. So when's Rock and Rick gonna do another Drifters night? Oh yeah, he'll be here third week of the month. What's the matter? Well, I know you, don't I? I mean, uh, you've been here before something. I'll take two for Saturday the 28th. Sure. <laughs> you don't have to hide the poster, I already saw it. It does make me kind of wonder if you put up pictures of all your customers. People put up stuff in here all the time. Doesn't mean I have time to look at it or care. Not a chance, man. Right. Kind of a small place. Get a chance to go out much? As much as I can. You know, I don't think I gave you enough. I should give you a little bit more. Hey, what time are you going to work? Uh, not until 4.30. Huh? 4.30. You going somewhere? Got to see a guy about some credit cards. Don't worry, though. I'll be back by 4 and take care of the kiddies. Billy, get you and Sally packed. Just one bag. Where are we going? See your real mom. I'm gonna be out for a little while. When I get back, we're leaving. You wait here. I'm gonna need uh, four sleeping bags, some rope, and a hunting knife. Yeah. She slipped down the mountain and fell into the river. I wasn't there, so I believed in her. Or I felt I did then, but I don't now. Why? She knew what he was doing. 
She knew he was stealing, and she called him on it. She saw through him. He killed her because she resisted him, just like Billy's doing now. Anna, he killed my child. I'm afraid of him. I'm afraid for the kids. Are the kids OK? Yeah, he won't be home till later, but we better go, because I left him alone. <laughs> Well, where'd you two peanuts think you're going? Mom didn't say. Just for a drive later, that's all. Uh-huh. Diane, did your mommy say where you were going later today? She said we were going to visit our other mommy. <laughs> Is that right? Oh, Rachel, looks like you lied to me. But guess what? You're both wrong. We're going to go somewhere else. Where? To the mountains. It's time to be pioneers again, huh? What do you say? Let's get out of here. What about Donna? Donna? Oh, no. She doesn't like camping. Come on, come on, come on. Move, move, move. Uh, gonna be sleeping outside tonight. How about that, huh? Pull over. Something's wrong. What? What's he doing here? It's not too polite to leave without saying goodbye. so much. Come on, Diane. Come over here. It's not our mom anymore. You're mad at me. Why did you kill Laura? Kill Laura? What do you mean? I never hurt Laura. We know she's dead. You hit her and she fell down the stairs. Honey, is that what he told you? Well, he lied. Look, here, I'll show you. You see that house behind her? It's where we live now. It's real nice, Peanut. Laura misses you both so much, she can't wait for us all to come home. Are you going to take us there, Mama? Yes, sweetie. Look, Billy. I mean, Rachel. I know you're still angry at me, and that's OK. I wasn't a very good mother to you. 
and I made a lot of mistakes. But I never, I never stopped loving you, not ever. And if you'll just give me one more chance, I'm gonna do the best I can to make it up to you, to all of you. I guess the police are gonna ask us a bunch of questions now. Maybe we could talk when it's over. Would that be okay? That's okay, Mama. Okay. I'll see you soon. Wait. You changed your hair. Little. It's pretty silly, doesn't it? They made me change mine, too. Remember that day in the summer we flew the kite in the field? Yeah. That's how I kept from forgetting. Sometimes I couldn't remember you too well, so I think about that day. I remember. Mom? Yeah? I want to be Billy again. No. <laughs>